Okay, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble a um, multicolor side table. First thing to do is to find all the parts. So we've got a top, we've got our four legs, we've got our four apron pieces, and our fixed shelf. Before we assemble these, we want to water poly two coats of poly on the shelf. It'll be a lot easier to do that before assembly. So I want to make sure that's done before assembling these side tables. I'm going to set this aside for right now and I'm going to put down uh, a blanket so when I lay my top upside down just to protect that top. Uh, okay, so here's my top. Really there's not a front or a back to these because there's not a drawer or anything. So the customer could flip this around however they want to. So I'll put my top upside down on my blanket and I'm gonna grab my four apron pieces, stand them up. If you look closely, they've all been pocket screwed or pocket cut, two on each end and then two running the length. That's how we're gonna attach the aprons to the top. So I'm gonna lay them out and I have a little, uh, little jig here that helps me with my alignment of my aprons. If I flush it up on the right hand corner, flush with both edges, and then I slide my apron in. That should center my apron from left to right. I'm gonna go ahead and attach my aprons now with one and five eighths square drive screws. Then I'll flip my, my little uh, jig to the other side to make sure that I'm still my apron is staying parallel to the edges of my top. It helps when the apron is uh, flipped around the correct way. Now for the most part, if you look closely here, the inside of the apron is pretty much flush with the inside edge of my top exterior. So all I really need to do here is follow along that line. I don't even need to use this anymore, but I can just flush it up and use that as my guide. And then I can really do the same here from left to right. I'll center it using this guide, but then I'm just gonna flush up with that edge and know that if I follow that edge, that I'm gonna stay parallel to my top. Okay, my apron's attached. Now I'm gonna take my legs and I'm gonna take a look at them. I've got two rough sides. I want my rough sides to be my outside corners. So there's really lefts and rights if they were cut properly. And then I'm looking at where the dado is in relation to that. The dados need to be facing inside because the shelf is gonna be on the inside. So I know this one will work because I've got my outside corners rough, rough edges out. I'm gonna go ahead and attach with the one and five eight screws. So this is a small nightstand. It's gonna be actually a little easier if I switch over to this right angle drill. I can get in there a little bit better. It's a little tight with the standard cordless drill. And as I'm attaching the leg to the apron, I wanna apply pressure from the corner so that the leg is coming up tight against the apron on, on both aprons, on both flat surfaces. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do, do the right leg. And if it's easier, I can rotate this thing around because I'm on a blanket. Okay, we've got our two legs attached. Next step is to bring over the shelf. Of course, the finished side of the shelf, of course, is gonna be facing down as I install this. I'm gonna set the shelf in the dado and kind of center it from left to right because you can see that it slides back and forth. So I want it centered. Now I'm gonna take my legs and just bring them, bring them up against my apron and make sure the shelf fits in the dado. So I'll do that for both of them. Nice tight fit, and I'm gonna attach. 
I want to make sure, I got to make sure it's most important that, that leg, once again, is nice and flat against the apron. You see a little gap at the bottom. I'm going to try to close it up with my screw. Okay, legs are attached. Now the next thing we're going to do is just confirm that our shelf is uh, centered between the legs in the dado. I'm going to take my mallet and just give it a little tap. Okay, now I'm going to take pipe clamps and run from one leg to the other just to squeeze these legs together so there's no gap in the dado. So the shelf fills up the dado completely. Yeah, just very carefully crank on the clamps and make sure that they come together nice and tight. Next step is I'm gonna take my screws, one and five eighths, same length, and do like a toenail, about 45 degrees, through the shelf and into the leg. I'm gonna put two screws in each leg. And you wanna be at least, I'd say an inch and a half off of the end. Um, these screws create their own pilot. So 90% of the time you don't have an issue with splitting, but there is that rare case that it may wanna split. So if you're a little bit off the end, you'll reduce the chance of that happening. Remove my pipe clamps. Okay, there we have it. That's a completed multicolor side table.